Welcome to Indicate Technologies demonstration for Ram Optical's Starlight GX video based measuring microscope. This is Ram Optical's Starlight GX video measurement microscope. We'll be doing this presentation with a single camera and without any editing. So it'll be sec sectioned into three parts. Apologize for the choppiness in advance, and I hope you enjoy the information. First of all, we have the Starlight GX system itself. The hardware, optics, lighting, and controls. The Starlight GX is a 6 inch by 3 inch by 5 inch measurement volume. It uses a 6.5x zoom lens, which enables on-screen magnification of approximately 33x to 175x. There are standard light systems built in. On the front is a control panel. This is one way to access the lighting. There are three light knobs, one for backlight, and two for the different surface lights. We'll discuss that more as we get into the software section of the presentation so that you can see the results of those types of lighting. There are also several buttons across the front, inch metric, zeroing of the digital readout, X, Y, and Z, axis alignment, or what is sometimes referred to as skew alignment, and an enter button for selecting manually uh, collected data points. The mechanical controls of the system are for X, Y, and Z. The X and the Y are a unique mechanical design which allows rapid and fine adjustment at this, off the same axis knob here. The larger knob here provides a rapid adjustment and the inner portion of the knob provides a fine adjustment. That's the Y axis. The X axis behaves the same way. The z-axis knob is down here in front and provides the ability to refocus the optics. Positioned here at the end of the optical system is a disc, black disc, which is what we call the vector light. It's an array of LEDs. As we turn the knob on, you can see them come on here. If we look at the reflection of the knob in the stage glass, excuse me, the reflection of the lighting in the stage glass, you can see the different LEDs there. There are six concentric rings, each going through a front objective lens here, providing focused lighting down at the focal plane of the optics. This is a unique characteristic to the RAM optical system, only um, a patent that is held by their parent company, Quality Vision Systems and is shared by their sister company, Optical Gauging Products, in their SmartScope line. No other system on the market uh, has a focused LED light source that comes through a lens. This often helps with imaging, and we might be able to see this later as part of the demonstration making measurements on a part. On the stage here, we see a small sample part. We'll be doing some exercises with that in a moment. And that is the summary of the mechanical and optics setup for the RAM Optical Starlight GX. The next segment of the presentation introduces the GageX software, which is the standard operating software for the RAM Optical Starlight GX the RAM Optical Sprint series, as well as the Optical Gauging Products MVP, SmartScope MVP series of measuring microscopes. First, let's go over a, this basic screen layout. Here in the upper left corner, we have the live video image, um, and to the right of that, we have some lighting controls. This is just another, uh, these lighting controls are another uh, way of adjusting lighting uh, as compared to what we already saw with the knobs on the front of the system. Below the, the video image, we have a toolbox that's used for selecting 
how we're going to acquire the data. It could be something as simple as a uh, crosshair like this, or possibly one of the other automatic targets that will enable automatic edge detection in X, Y, and or Z axes. Below that toolbox is a print data section where we'll be able to view and review the output that we've selected um, compared against tolerances if that's also been selected. To the right of that is where we see the digital readout. Now the digital readout here shows X, Y, and Z and it always tells you, it always reports the current location of the center line of the optics which in this case is seen here as the center line of the crosshair. As we move the stage you'll see how that counts and in this way the, these systems behave just as it would with a standard uh, measurement toolmaker's microscope or an optical comparator. There are other buttons here on the digital readout section of the screen which uh, are in parallel with the knobs that were seen on the front of the system as well. In addition to these XYZs where pressing them would zero the digital readout, we have the skew alignment button, inch metric toggling, and then also switching here between the XYZ Cartesian coordinate system representation or the radius angle Z polar uh, coordinate system representation of the system here. Then there's also the ability to annu enter manual points as we saw also on the button on the front of the system. Moving upward here to this toolbox, this is the main operational toolbox where uh, the interactions with the system typically take place, saving files, running f programs, inserting, editing, uh, also changing units. There are, uh, for most things in the system, there are multiple ways to achieve them. For example, the inch metric change here as opposed to the inch metric button in the software down here, as opposed to the inch metric button on the front of the system itself. Uh, this just enables each uh, user of the system to uh, interface with it in the way that's most comfortable for them. The central area of the toolbox provides icon access to the different functions, measurement and construction functions for calculating the different geometries and uh, parts of our inspection routine that we want to report. Over on the right hand side there are two panels. The topmost panel uh, houses the model representation of the inspection routine. Uh, it can be manipulated in the way that typical CAD uh, files can be manipulated. We can zoom in or zoom out, pan, <clears throat> or we can selectively zoom into an area of interest by drawing a box around it and see the detail. There are also some standard uh, navigating buttons across the top of this section. One uh, is called Fit to Window or often in CAD terminology, zoom to extents, which just means fit everything onto the screen. And there are the magnifying glasses, the plus and minus, to zoom in and out. You also have buttons here to save the image, at this section of it, or to print it. In the model itself, there are several standard uh, representations here. The arrows that we see in the lower left corner in the center of this circle represent our current zero reference. So the red arrow pointing in the direction of the positive x-axis, the green pointing in the direction of the positive y-axis. There's actually a yellow arrow there pointing directly out to the screen. That's the positive z-axis. The blue box we see represents or is the area that we can uh, view in the live video image on the right-hand side. So as we move the stage, the blue box moves, the live image of the video updates here, and the blue box location updates over on the model window. So using that, we can navigate uh, where we are on the, on the part itself. Below the model window is another panel here. This panel that we're looking at now is called the Enhanced Editor, and this houses or shows us the text representation of, of our inspection routine and there are several views of it and it's possible to edit the program here by typing in uh, as well. We'll see that in a little bit. This panel, this lower panel, is also shared by what we call the CAD Navigator and the CAD Navigator is something that we'll see in another section of this presentation uh, demonstrating how to create an inspection routine from a CAD model. 
that is a brief overview of the summary uh, presentation on the GageX software. Um, we'll have a couple more things to show you here in the next segment of the presentation.